eight o'clock on December the, the 31st. Left, uh, left the UK and went to Thailand and I was on an island called Koh Lanta, right in the south of Thailand where I, uh, it was quite undeveloped, the scuba diving was fantastic and all that, that this, this place really had potential. And uh, during my, and I was spending like two or three weeks there just understanding things and, uh, you know, working out whether, you know, working out, trying to work out the details of how to get started. And uh, one morning, uh, the, the lady who ran the group of, uh, of uh, bungalows that I was staying in came out and she said to me, uh, there's a phone call for you. And there was only radio phones, there were no landlines in those days there. Uh, this lady came out and said, there's a phone call for you. And I, I mean, I was initially because I thought that, uh, uh, you know, it, there are very few people that knew how to get hold of me and I thought it must be some problem with the family or something like that, but it wasn't. It was Jean Todd from Ferrari and he explained that the, uh, after many years a consultancy agreement with John Barnard, the, they, it, the, it really just hadn't produced results uh, for Ferrari and they had uh, hired Ross Braun to join Ferrari and he, and he said would I like to join uh, to, uh, to design the cars and carry on the work just like I'd done at Benetton and uh, Michael had been at Ferrari uh, you know, a year at that stage so I said I'd, uh, I'd think about it and it didn't take a lot of thinking because ten days later I was in Maranello <laughs> and, and that was the, the briefest retirement ever, six weeks Anyway, so uh, once we joined, uh, once I joined uh, uh, Ferrari, it was I fa we found ourselves in a in a very uh, in a very tough situation. Um, the uh, for a start, the uh, uh, Ferrari had in Italy, they had a very good race team, they had a good manufacturing base, but they had absolutely no. Uh, design or research facility. All that work was done by John Barnard and his group of engineers with his company in England. And of course once they parted company with John Barnard they, they were left with absolutely no infrastructure. So we arrived there in February so uh, there were several tasks there. and the first thing was to uh, make the 97 car competitive which which had already been designed and 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 they were testing so and it was off the pace so we had to make that competitive um, we then had to build up the infrastructure employ all the engineers uh, get the wind tunnel program started uh, start building up all the simulation tools it was a huge job and at the same time, uh, you know, from about mid-season onwards, uh, I actually had to start designing the 98 car and the rules had uh, fundamentally changed for 98. So uh, it was uh, really, you know, it was no mean task, I can tell you. Uh, anyway, we, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, we struggled on initially in 97 and then uh, made quite a few breakthrough where we changed some things on the car which made quite a big difference and that enabled Michael um, to win his first race for Ferrari uh, that year at Monaco. Uh, we uh, made progress from then on and we actually, Michael narrowly missed winning the championship where um, really he made a, an error and had an accident with Jules Villeneuve during the last race of the season and, and uh, lost the championship. 98 was the first Ferrari that I designed and um, we had a pretty good year. Again it was a building year because really uh, technically we weren't at the level of our competitors, our, the top competitors yet. And, but, and, but a competitive season and again lost the last race because Michael stalled on the grid at the last race in Suzuka and had a start from the back of the grid. Uh, so lost the championship. 